Hey, hey, it's Liz from Stretch, and today PJ is going to be leading your 26 and 2 class. So I want you to enjoy yourself and learn a lot. He's hilarious. And of course, if you find yourself laughing hysterically in the mirror while you're practicing alone, just know that we're laughing with you. Have a great class. All right, everyone, welcome to your yoga class. From now on, just focus in the mirror. Concentrate on yourself, follow your instruction, follow my instruction, and move your body. You're going to have a great, great class. Okay, we start always by deep breathing, good for your lung and respiratory system. Inhaling by the nose, exhaling by the mouth. Feet together, interlace all your 10 fingers, make a nice and tight grip right under your chin. Make sure your fingers stay with your chin the whole time, do not separate them. Meditate, and start with me. Inhale, bring your elbows up. Full lungs, get your elbows as high as possible, hold it. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Bring your elbows away from your chest forward, touch your elbows. Inhale, head down, another one. Stronger than the last one, suck your stomach in more. Full lungs, exhale, head up, push your head back. Mouth open, spine straight, move your elbows slowly forward to touch your elbows. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, head out, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, head down, chin down, stomach in, rib cage open, stretch up, 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 now exhale, head up, push your head back, little bit push your both hips forward, contraction behind you on your glutes, elbows touching, inhale, head down, Elbows all the way up. Try to bring your elbows a little bit more up until you feel in your shoulders. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Weight on your heels, spine is straight, touch your elbows. Inhale, head down, stomach in. The more you stomach in, you can use more of your lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Now try to exhale more. The more you exhale, you can inhale more next time. Elbows touching, inhale, head down. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, head up, mouth open, take six seconds to touch your elbows, hold it, inhale, head down, again, elbows all the way up, the last couple of ones, very strong one, fill it up all the way, exhale, head up, push your head back, now contraction of your belly, ribs in, elbows more forward, fill it in your shoulders, inhale, head down, the last one should be the best one, the longest one, Stretch up all the way up. Now exhale, head up. Push your head back. Nice sound. Keep exhaling without intermission. And when your elbows touch, you can bring your arms down. Shake it out. That was a very good start, everybody. Now round two. Good smile, Danny. <laughs> Feet together. Interlock all your ten fingers. Make a nice and tight grip. Focus in the mirror again. And start second set. Inhale. Elbows up. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Exhale, head up. Keep exhaling. Elbows forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, elbows all the way up. You are improving the elasticity of your lungs right now. Hold it. Now exhale, head up. Push your head back. So your respiratory system is getting stronger. Elbows forward, touching. Inhale, head down. Elbows all the way up. Synchronize the movement of the arms and head together. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Keep your spine straight, only move your arms and head, nothing else, elbows touching. Inhale, chin down, elbows all the way up. Stretch up all the way, feel it in your shoulders. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Nice ribs, Priyanka. Elbows more forward, elbows touching. Inhale, head down. Keep going, guys. No correction. You're doing good. Just to stretch up more, more, more. Now exhale, head up. Push your head back. Imagine you're moving your arms and head in water. So very slowly, inhale, head down, chin down. Open your ribs more. Intercostal muscles stretching. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. No collapsing. Chest up. Spine straight. Elbows touching. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five six exhale head up keep your knuckles with your chin don't separate them elbows more forward elbows touch inhale head down stronger one deeper one especially toward the end stretch up more exhale head up no gap between fingers and the chin elbows forward elbows touching last one inhale head down mind quiet 
Focus in the mirror, concentrate, meditate, exhale, head up. Now push your head back, keep pushing your head back. Elbows forward, elbows touch. Wonderful, I'm done. That was a very good start. Now your nervous system is calmer. Now you are ready for your 26 posture, it's starting with half one, Ardha Chandrasana. Still your feet together, inhale, arms over your head, palms together, cross all your 10 fingers, release the index finger, thumbs remain crossed. Make sure there is no gap between your palms, arms with your ears. First, stretch up, touch the ceiling, warm up, right and left, right and left, to open both sides of your body, stretching both sides. Every time you come to the center, imagine you're touching the ceiling, Perhaps this is the first time in your day you're stretching up like this, right and left, right and left. And then when you cannot stretch anymore, please everybody stop in the middle. Before you start, double check your elbows are again locked with your ears, no gap between your palms. Push your hips slightly forward, opening your pelvis, upper body lean back, opening your chest. Chest and chin up, arms back. Start to finish body weight on your heels. Inhale, breathe, stretch up. Touch the ceiling, full long, slowly bring your body to the right side in an absolutely straight line without bending your elbows or your knees. You have to continuously push your hips to the left side beyond your flexibility. You are trying to create a stretching feeling on the left side of your body, all over, inside out, from your bones to the skin should be stretching. Hips more forward, upper body lean back more, keep your weight more on your heels. If your hips are not in one line parallel to the mirror, maybe you need to bring your left hip slightly forward. Simultaneously, you bring your right shoulder a couple of inches forward to open your chest more toward the mirror like flower blooming. Toward the end, try to come down more, drop your body down, push harder, abdominal muscle tight, push harder, very good Danny, nice going down boss, come down and push, come down and push, come down and push, inhale breathing, come up with stop in the middle. Grip tight again, hips forward, arms back, take a deep inhale, stretch up. Now slowly bring your body to the left side. Absolutely a straight line, no leaning back or leaning too forward. You are like a toast in a toaster, exactly stretching and pushing your hips to the right side. Breathe through the nose, face relaxed, nice and smile, Bianca. Continuously push. You have to continuously non stop push your hips, that's it. Hips forward, arms back more, body weight on your heels. On this side, maybe your left shoulder goes back, double check, bring it forward, right hip forward, keep your belly still tight, buttocks tight, stretching and pushing at the same time, simultaneously, push more, push more, inhale breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Next is your first back bend, don't be scared, very slowly drop your head back, your back may hurt a little bit, stretch up, take a deep inhale, with your weight on your heels, bring your arms back and try to touch the windows, glass windows behind you. Push your upper body back. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Your total spine should be backward bending. Take a deep inhale. Push your stomach forward, legs more forward, arms back more, look back. Fall back, go back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Now slowly, come forward. Go ahead, put your hands on the floor. You can bend your knees, no problem. And then start to jiggle, wiggle. Shake it, pretty much this is a free form, right? You can do whatever you want, but please don't fart. That's the only thing you don't want to do. <laughs> Everything else is okay. Right and left, right and left. That's it. You can even pray, right? It's okay. I always pray. I'm like, oh God, I hope this class becomes easier than the previous <laughs> class. <laughs> okay. Especially if you are practicing at home watching, you need to take more time. Right and left. Okay, see what you can do for the first set. Padahasasana, hand to feet pose. Go ahead, everyone. Grab your heels from underneath, behind, with your five fingers together. Baby fingers touching side by side. Please make sure your elbows behind the legs and the calf muscle. Don't lose your grip. Now start to pull your heels. Stretch your body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Legs are stretching, push your hips back, slowly try to lock your knees. You should feel a tremendous stretching behind your legs, from coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead, with your happy smiling face. Pull harder, push your knees back, lock your knees. The object of pulling is to stretch your spine more. Eventually, in the future, you can lock your knees, touch the top of your head to your feet. Last chance, everybody, roll forward, lock your knees, lock your knees, 
Lock your knees, inhale, breathing. Now slowly come up, arms and knees together, same way you went in. You come up all the way up. Now arms down by your side. Breathe in between posture. Take a moment, find your center. And here is your second set, less preparation, deeper into the posture. Inhale, arms over your head. Make the same grip as the first set, but make sure you eliminate any gap between your arms with your ears and palms. Stretch up, take a deep inhale, full long, then slowly bring your body to the right side. Go down and slowly push your hips to the left side beyond your flexibility. Hips forward, arms with your ears the whole time. Very good posture for trimming your waistline, your buttocks, your abdominal muscle, increasing the flexibility of your spine. Push your hips more forward. Keep your weight on your heels. Grip tight, double check your arms are still with your ears. Come down more, push harder. Little bit more, push harder. Everybody push harder, that's it, push harder. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop. Last attempt, stretch up, now slowly go to the left side. Slowly push your hips to the right side. With your weight, it's slightly more on your heels. Your toes are still on the floor. Everybody push more, breathe through the nose. Stay there, it's also promoting proper kidney function. Very good posture, very therapeutic. Come down more and push harder. That's a very good sign. Nice going down. Push. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Stop in the middle. Second set of back bend. Very slowly drop your head back. Everybody relax your head. Your head is going to stay there. If it falls down, I'm going to give you your money back. Now stretch up. Now bring your arms back. Go. Be fearless. Everybody arms back. Arms back. Push your stomach forward right away. For counterbalance, you have to push your stomach. Legs, hips more bar, and bring your arms back. Very good list. If you see the glass windows, bring your index finger more toward the floor so you can look at the floor more. Arms back, look back, fall back, go back, way back, more back, more back. Inhale, breathing, come out. Wow, Bianca, you went deeper, second set. Now slowly come forward. Go all the way down, all the way down. Hands on the floor. And once your hands on the floor, you start to do your warm up again. It's okay to bend the knees, circular motion of your hips. I like to shake my arms sometimes, a little bit rotate my neck. Take your time, right and left, a little bit of jiggling here. So hand to feet is a very good posture for bending forward, stretching. We do in the beginning of the class to wake up the spine. Go ahead, everyone. Try again. Second set, you might be able to do with more precision. Get your elbows behind the legs. That's a kind of nice getting your elbows behind the legs. Please don't lose your grip. Everybody together, pull your heels. Stretch your body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Stomach on your thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. Push your knees back as hard as you can. Try to lock your knees. Tremendous stretching behind your legs. Your legs are stretching. Your hips are stretching, the lower spine is stretching. Eventually, your entire body, 300 degrees, 60 degrees, stretching from top to bottom. Roll like a wheel. Body weight forward. Push your knees back, lock your knees. Touch your face, lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathe in. Come up, arms and knees together, all the way up. Reach up, arms down by your side. Now your spine is full of vitality. It's time to make your arms and legs strong in awkward pose. Please step your right foot to the right, hip width distance about six inches apart, and make sure your feet remain parallel to each other. Please do not move your feet during the three parts of this posture. Inhale, arms straight forward, five fingers of your hands together, elbows locked, contraction of your triceps, nothing loose underneath your arms. Suck your stomach in, exhale, breathing. Now sit down halfway with your feet flat position. Spine is straight to begin with. When you cannot sit down anymore, lift your chest up, arch your upper body back more. Abdominal muscle tight still, bend from the lumbar spine, open your knees to keep six inches between toes, knees, hands. Lean your upper body back more, bring your weight more on your heels, go back, way back, try to fall down backward, inhale, breathing, come up. Part two, you keep your arms straight, stand up maximum on top of your toes with full concentration. If you blink your eyes, you might lose your balance. Imagine I'm pulling your body up toward the ceiling like a natural human traction. Sit down by bending your knees only. Spine is straight. You are leaning against the glass wall behind your hips and head touching that wall. Higher on your toes, knees up. Spread your toes and come higher on your big toes. Higher on your knees. Chest up. Higher. Inhale, breathing. Come up. 
You got it? Part three, feet flat for a moment. And here is the last part, a little bit on your toes. Bring your knees together. Pretend you have a quarter between your knees. Do not drop it. All right? Now, very slowly, spine straight, go all the way down. At least 10 counts, especially when you're approaching the floor, go slower. All the way down. You got it, Susan. Nice going down and slow. Stretch your spine up toward the city. Keep half inch gap between your hips and your heels. From the side, your arms and legs parallel to the floor. Your spine is straight, like you're holding three sides of a box. Press your knees together with your inhale. Come up. Again, try come up as slow as you can. Laser beam focus. Arms down, feet together. Try to breathe normally in between posture. Catch your breath. Part two, put your right foot again in the same place. After a while practicing, you exactly know where you put your feet. Not too wide, not too narrow. Inhale, arms straight forward. Keep your elbows locked. Try to touch the mirror. Your arms should not look like a cooked spaghetti arms, right? You have to stretch forward, solid, concrete. Exhale. Now suck your stomach in, sit down, feet flat, body weight on your heels immediately. Make sure you are sitting low enough, arch your upper body back. From the lower spine, arch your upper body back more. In the future, you could sit low until the top of your legs become parallel to the floor. Everybody belly tight, depression of the abdominal muscle. Lean your upper body back more, bring your weight on your heels, go back, way back, more back. Inhale, come up, nice legs. Stand up on top of your toes with full concentration. Go all the way up. All the way up, force your heels up and forward. Make sure your ankles are not twisted, your heels above your toes. Now, spine is straight, sit down. Go down without letting your heels go down. Only your hips go down, spine is straight. You are not leaning forward, higher on your toes. Knees up, spine is straight, shoulders down. Stretch your arms more forward, higher on your toes. Inhale, breathing, come up. Good timing, feet flat. And here is the last part, a little bit on your toes, knees together, zip up your inner thigh, knees together, and very slowly go down. As slow as you possible, ideally you want to go 10 seconds, go all the way down, continue to stretch your spine up toward the ceiling. The gravity wants to sit, you sit on your heels, but you are stretching up, half inch between your hips and your heels. Knees together and forward toward the floor, arms and legs parallel to the floor, spine, 90 degree angle. Now slowly inhale, come up, very slowly again, all the way up, arms down, feet together, breathe in and out through the nose, be graceful, practice, and now here is your eagle pose, Guru Rasana, arms over your head, palms together, look at your arms, don't mix up, first right arm under your left arm, cross your arms, bring your palms together with your thumbs toward your face, continuously pull your elbows down, if you are not able to get your palms together yet, cross your ten fingers, no problem. Suck your stomach in. Now sit down. Get your hips really low. Like the first part of the awkward pose, stay low. Without moving your hips, chest up, lift your right leg up and over your left leg. Wrap the foot behind the calf muscle. Eventually, you see five toes visible in the mirror. Sit down and twist like a ropes. Without losing your balance, very gently bring your right knee to the right. Bring your left knee to the left. Your standing knee should be on top of your toes. Upper body lean back, pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in, inhale, breathing, come up, feet together, arms over your head. Now you bring your left arm under your right arm, again cross your arm, twist like a ropes, use the sweat between your arms to bring your palms closer to each other without bending your wrist. Now pull your elbows down, fingertips below the nose, not higher than the nose, exhale, sit down, stay low, Upper body lean back. In one chance, zoom. Lift your left leg up and over your right leg. Wrap the foot behind the calf muscle. Sit down and twist more. Start to arch your upper body back more and continuously pull your elbows down. Lift your chest, make your spine longer. On this side, left knee to the left, right knee to the right in opposite direction. Sit down and pull your elbows down more. Inhale, breathing, come up. Feet together, arms over your head. Second one, right arm under your left. Very therapeutic posture, good for your reproduction organs and opening major joints of your body. Sit down again, stay low, lean back. On the second set, maybe you can sit lower. Now lift your right leg up and over. Cross it. The higher you lift your leg, it's easier to wrap it. Once you wrap the foot, sit down. If your foot is not wrapping, bend your knee, standing knee and sit lower. Arch your upper body back. 
Make sure your hips are parallel to the mirror. Otherwise, bring your right knee to the right, upper body to the left. Your knees, toes, heels should be in the center of your body. Upper body, lean back. Inhale, breathing, come up. Feet together. One more to go. Fourth attempt. Left arm under your right. Cross it and twist it. Wiggle your arms. Continuously pull your elbows down. You should feel it in your shoulders. Suck your stomach in. Sit low. Arch your upper body back more. Now without hesitation, left your left leg up and over. Nice. Waiting for me. Sit down and twist like a rope. Pull your elbows down. Upper body back more. That's it. Chest up. Stomach in more sand if you can. That's it. Pull your elbows down. Left knee to the left more. Stay low. Breathe through the nose. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Arms over your head. Arms down. You deserve your water. Go ahead. This is our official party time. Have some water. Wonderful focus. All right, everyone. Come back to the middle of your mat. For the next three postures, you're going to stay in one leg. And you do your best to keep that one leg straight. We call it lock the knee. First one is called standing forehead to knee. Everybody fit together to start. Shift your weight more to the left side of your leg. Now very slowly, gently suck your stomach in. Bend your right knee up. Cross all your ten fingers. And grab three inches below the right foot with all your grip tight. Don't lose your grip, okay? Look in the mirror, make sure. Continuously start to finish, you lock the left knee. Think deep, deeply about your left knee. If you bend your knee, the posture is over, you have to start to lock it again. Distribute your weight all over your left foot, equally the same. Inhale, breathing, gently lift your right leg up and kick your right leg forward. Continuously kick your heel forward, immediately flex all your five toes from your ankle toward your face until you can lock the top leg. If you are able to lock both knees, like an upside down L from the side, only then you bring your elbows down. When your elbows below the calf muscle, push your top knee down, kick your heel forward, flex the foot more, inhale, breathing, come up, finish the same way you went in, arms down, feet together, stay calm, breathe. Keep your eyes in the mirror at your standing leg, shift your weight to the right, this time your right leg is locked, inhale, breathing, bend over, cross all your 10 fingers, again, grab three inches below the left foot. Nice and tight grip. Breathe through the nose, look at your right knee. Nothing in this world right now exists except your right knee, which must be locked. It's part of your right leg. Your right leg should look like a lamppost leg. Solid, concrete, one piece, no knee. Gently inhale, breathe in, lift your left leg up, zoom, kick your heel forward. Flex all your five toes from your ankle toward your face beyond perpendicular. Take a deep inhale, kick your heel, chest up. If you are able to balance both things are locked, only then you bring your elbows down. Elbows come down, elbows touching the calf muscle, hold it there, kick your heel, now slowly inhale, breathe in, come up, arm down, 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 down. If you like, a mini back bend is recommended. Otherwise, you can just use this time to breathe, recover. And here is another set, a little bit deeper, a little bit maybe faster. All right, go ahead, shift your weight to the left side. One more time, roll in. Lift your right leg up, belly sucked in the whole time. Pick up the foot, same position. Keep your foot light in your hands and look at your left knee. Use your English Bulldog determination not to give up. Mind over matter. If you don't mind, doesn't matter. When you are ready, inhale, breathe in, lift your right leg up. Zoom, kick your heel forward. Flex the foot immediately. Continuously keep kicking your leg forward without stopping. Standing knee lock, top knee lock, both knees lock. You can balance, only then you bring your elbows down. Elbows touching the calf muscle. And if you can still balance, very slowly, head down, body down, touch your forehead exactly on your knee, continuously keep kicking your heel forward, balance there, inhale, breathe in, first head up, chest up, arms straight, arms down. Very good. Stay calm, you have one more to go, you can do this. Make up your mind not to give up. Shift your weight to the right side. Everybody suck your stomach in, lift your left leg up. Go ahead, pick up the foot. Nice and tight grip. Look at your right knee. Think carefully about your right knee. Don't even blink your eyes. Distribute your weight all over your right foot equally the same. Lock the knee. Lock the knee. Lock the knee. Inhale, breathe in. Lift your left leg up. 
Go ahead, kick forward. Don't be scared. Kick forward. As long as you're standing knees locked, you're getting 100% benefit. If you are able to balance comfortably and both knees are locked, only then you bring your elbows down. Elbows touching the calf muscle. If you can still balance very slowly, head down, body down, chest down, touch your forehead to the knee. Make sure your leg is not going down when your head is going down. Inhale, breathing, come up. Good teachers, come up. All the way. Arms down. Put your hands on your hips. Push your hips forward. Drop your head back. Done, done, done. All right, take a moment to recover. That was a very powerful posture. Breathe in and out through the nose. Hi. All right. Next one is called a standing bow pulling pose. Everybody fit together. Heels and toes touching. Bring your right hand in front of you. Bring your right hand to the right without turning your hand. Pick up your foot from inside with your five fingers together. Nice and tight grip. Knees together always to start. Left arm up. Chin and shoulder close to each other. Remember again, standing knee should be locked start to finish. Inhale, breathe in, stretch up. Now charge your body forward toward the mirror like you are going to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up as hard as you can. Slowly bring your upper body down until your abdomen and chest become parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking to your right foot so your right foot is coming up over the top of your head. Both feet in one line, both shoulders in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous, 50-50. If you stop kicking, you lose your balance. Drop your body down and kick. Body down and kick. Touch the mirror and kick. Inhale, breathing. Kick to come out of it. Good form. Arm down, feet together. The longest posture of the standing series, it tests your stamina. Left hand in front of you, palm up again, left hand to the left. Go ahead, pick up the foot from inside with your five fingers together. Immediately touch your knees side by side. Right arm up, chin close to the shoulder. Get your right arm back more two inches to touch the ceiling. Take a deep inhale, full long. Now charge your body forward and you go down slowly. Continuously kick kicking into your left arm. You should see your foot is slightly over the top of your head and then more and kick. Now bring your body down, come down. The more medical benefit you get if you bring your body down. Now touch your right shoulder to the chin. Think deeply about your standing knee locket. Come down more, touch your shoulder to the chin more, Bianca. Bring your right shoulder forward. Aha, uh -huh, now kick up, kick up, body down, kick up. Inhale, breathe in. Come up, arm down, feet together, stand up straight. Eyes forward, eyes soft, face relaxed. And here is your round two. Right hand in front of you. Palm to the ceiling, right hand to the right. Go ahead, grab the foot. Same position, five fingers together, knees touching. Left arm up again, chin close to the shoulder. Back foot should be pointed the whole time, start to finish. Lock the knee, ready. Now charge your body forward. In one straight line, your foot, your arm, everything one straight line. Your right knee invisible. Body down, come down, charge your body forward. Touch your shoulder to the chin, scapula more forward. Shift your body weight more forward and your ball of your foot. And kick, body down more, kick up more, charge your body more forward, kick up more. Inhale, breathing, kick to come out of it. Excellent group work. Arm down, feet together. You can do this, just take a deep inhale. Uh, here is the last one. Left hand in front of you, palm up, elbow touching the body. Left hand to the left. Go ahead, everyone. You know where to grab the foot. Hold it, knees together, touching side by side. Right arm up, high fingers facing the mirror. Breathe through the nose the whole time during the posture. Inhale, breathe in. Charge your body forward. Kick into your left arm. Like you want to get your left arm off your body. That's how much you kick. Don't even blink your eyes. Remember, 90 minutes meditation. Laser beam focus, body down and kick. Charge your body down and kick. Get your foot higher above the head and kick. Stretch more forward and kick. Inhale, breathing, kick to come out of it. Arm down, fit together. Beautiful bow pose. Okay, now it is time for three, excuse me, uh, balancing stick pose. Fit together. This posture is a short, quick. If you are late, it's over. Use your 100% strength in one second. Feet together, arms over your head. Nice and tight grip. Everybody arms with your ears, chin up, release the index finger. Start to finish, you have to look forward, not on your own foot. Step your right foot forward. Back foot pointed, arms and ears together. Inhale, here is your club. Body down, leg up. 
Get your arms, legs, head parallel to the floor, chin forward, stretch your body forward. Shoulders more forward, stretch more. Every muscle contracted, body down, stretch and stretch. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Still your arms with your ears, lean back, chin up. The other side, left foot step forward, back foot pointed, arms and ears together. Inhale, body down, leg up. Both knees must be locked. Charge your body forward, stretch your body more forward. Arms, legs, head parallel to the floor. Your body should look like a perfect T as a tiger, not a tequila. Stretch forward, body down, leg up, body down, leg up. That's enough. Come up, arms down, breathe through the nose, stay calm. Danny is like, I want tequila instead, all right? I can see it. Second one, arms over your head, one more time. Nice and tight grip. Chin up, stretch up. This is another opportunity to stretch. Step your right foot forward, back foot pointed. Are you ready? Inhale, you go down. Body down, leg up, 10 seconds. Every muscle is stretching. Go touch the mirror. Everybody stretch more forward. Make your shoulders hurt. Chin up, stretch more, stretch more. Inhale, breathing, come up. Okay, one more to go. You can do it. Make up your mind. Left foot is step forward. Back foot pointed. Inhale, breathe in. You go down. Body down, leg up. Charge your body forward. Stretch your body more forward. Make your shoulders hurt a little bit. Stretch more. Back foot pointed. Natural human traction. Stretch and stretch and stretch. That's enough. Come up. Arms down. Wonderful, everybody. Okay, come to the left side of your mat. Next posture, you're going to be on your both feet. The heart rate is going to come down. It's called separate leg stretching pose. Inhale, breathe in. Arms over your head. Palms together. Step your right foot to the right, the biggest step, arms down immediately. Almost four feet, 48 inches. Your feet should be either parallel or slightly toes toward each other, pigeon toe. Arms back. Now, without bending your knees, bring your upper body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Look forward, go all the way down. And go ahead, grab your heels from behind with your five fingers. If you are not able to grab your heels yet, grab the side of your feet, five fingers is still touching. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose your grip. Pull your heels. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Push your knees back. Keep pulling your heels. Stretch your upper body down. Try to bring your head or forehead to touch the floor. Roll like a wheel. Body weight forward. Legs are stretching. Hips are stretching. Lower spine stretching. Eventually, 360 degree angles is stretching and touching your forehead in between your feet. Roll forward. Pull harder. Lock your knees. Touch your forehead. Inhale, breathing. Come up. All the way up, arms over your head, palms together, arms down, stand up straight, breathe through the nose, and here is your another set, arms over your head, palms together. If your forehead easily touching the floor, it's smaller step. Right foot to the right, arms down. So you have to customize the size of your feet. If you are a Gumby or flexible, it's smaller step. Arms back, without bending your knees, go forward. Look forward, chin up. Go all the way down. All the way down. Go ahead, please, again, grab your heels or side of your feet, depending on your flexibility. Nice and tight grip. When you have the grip, push your knees back and then start to pull. Pull. Use your upper body strain to get your forehead closer to the floor. Pull harder, everybody. Eyes open. Try to make your, longer, your neck longer with no wrinkle behind your neck. Stretch your upper body down more. Very close so that you're almost there. Can you touch it? Exhale, that's it, you're almost there, touch it, go ahead, touch it, and then slowly inhale, breathing, come up, arms over your head, arms down, feet together, all right, all right, if you need some water, go ahead, to prepare yourself for triangle pose. Next posture is going to use 100% of your body strength. Every ligament, joint, muscle you have in your body is going to get involved. Everybody ready? Feet together. Arms over your head. Palms together. Right foot to the right. The biggest step. Zoom. Arms down immediately. Make sure you still have four feet between your feet. Turn your right foot to the right. Turn it another half an inch. Just bend your right knee and sit down. Get your hips low. Go all the way down until the top of your right leg become parallel to the floor. Before you start the posture, hips forward, arms back, and spine in the center. Now you can move your arms, put your right elbow against the knee. Go ahead, try to touch the toes without touching the floor. No pressure on your right finger, tips against the floor. Now look up toward the ceiling, chin to the left shoulder. Profile of your face visible in the mirror. Gently push your right knee back, bring your left hip down and forward. Take a deep inhale. 
Stretch your left arm up. Try to touch the ceiling with your left fingertips. Stretch your right fingertip down to touch between your first toe and second toe. Turn and twist your upper body from your waist. Lock the left leg. Inhale, breathing, come up. Keep your arms straight. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out. Turn it another half inch. Your step is still wide enough. Heels in one line. Bend your left knee and sit down. Get your hips low. Stay low. Do not come up anymore. Left leg should look like an upside down L. Ready? Now move both arms. Put your elbow against the knee. Not below the knee, not higher than the knee. Touch the toes. And then when you are ready, look up, chin to the right shoulder. Now you have to stretch your arms in opposite direction. Right arm stretch up, left arm stretch down. Natural human traction in your shoulders. Push your left knee back to get your knees in one line. That's it, Liz. Nice pushing the knee back. Turn and twist your upper body like a last posture, a spine twist. Lock the right leg, right foot flat. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms over your head. Arms down, feet together. This is the only posture, they call it marriage between hard and long, right? Very good for marrying between hard and long, okay? Second one, feet together, arms over your head. Another one, step your right foot to the right, zoom, arms down, biggest step. Make sure your feet are in one line, your heels, turn your right foot to the right, turn it slightly more, gently bend your left knee and sit down, Go all the way down, immediately look in the mirror. Hips forward, arms back, spine in the center. Now move both arms, put your elbow against the knee without resting on your elbow against the knee. Just push your knee gently back and then look up toward the ceiling, chin to the left shoulder. There should be a straight line from your toes to your neck. So now you are not bending your spine. Stretch up more, upper body up more. Everybody stretch up more. Hips down more without pinching your hip. You are not sagging into your hip. Just hips down, stretch your upper body up. Inhale, breathing, come up. Okay, one more to go. Don't give up, you can do this. Right foot in, left foot out, heels in one line. Gently sit down, go all the way down. Try to stay low. Your hips should low enough not to come up anymore. Now slowly move both arm, elbow against the knee. When you are able to get into the posture, then look up toward the ceiling, chin to the right shoulder. Now you stretch your arms in opposite direction. Again, push your left knee back more. Suck your belly even more. That's it. Push your both hips forward. Push your left knee back. Turn and twist your upper body more. Very good, Kenna. Nice upper body up. Stretch up more. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms over your head. Arms down. Breathe through the nose. You pass a big mountain. Now you are on the other side. Next posture is a very therapeutic posture. It's called separate leg, forehead to knee. Feet together, heels and toes touching still. Inhale, breathing, arms over your head, palms together. Step your right foot to the right, a big wider step, at least three feet, one yard. Now turn on your heels to face the side or front side mirror and twist your hips five times. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure your back foot is turning 45 degrees. Before you go down, stretch up, look at your stomach, choke your throat, and slowly round forward and put your forehead exactly on the knee. If you need to bend the right knee, it's okay, but make sure your forehead is exactly touching the knee. Hands forward, balance on your either fingertips or bring your palms together for more seasoned practitioner to balance on your pinkies. Right hip up more, left hip down more to get both hips parallel to the ceiling, throat choke, eyes open. Now very slowly lock the knee and to come up. Lock the knee, both knees locked, without twisting your hips, come up. Good timing. Now turn 185 degree, face the street side. Double check your step is not getting any smaller, right hip more forward. Stretch up, arms with your ears. Now you go down this side, throat choke, stomach in. Curve your spinal cord to touch the forehead to the knee. I repeat, if you cannot touch it, bend the knee, no problem, but forehead must touch the knee, not the nose. You press against the floor with your fingers or your pinkies to get the front knee locked eventually. Left hip up more, body weight on your front foot. Eyes open, suck your stomach in, round your spine more. Lock the front knee to slowly to come up, arms and ears to come up, arms and ears, all the way up, face the center, arms down, feet together, down, down, down. Stay calm. You can definitely do better job on a second set. Your body is now used to the posture. Feet together, arms over your head, palms together. Right foot to the right, widest step, biggest step. 
Turn on your heels. Look in the mirror, make sure your back foot is 45 degree and your heels in one line. When you are ready, suck your stomach in, run forward. Go all the way down. I believe everybody sh loves this posture. It's very therapeutic. Maybe the only person doesn't like it is the pharmaceutical companies, huh? Now left hip up more, throat choke. Eyes open, compression on the front side. Every compression posture you need short breath so you can hold the posture. Everybody lock the front knee very quickly and now come up, arms and ears together. Come up, arms and ears together, all the way up. Gracefully turn, 185. Very good, going in and out of the posture together. Everybody stretch up, look at your stomach, and you go down, all the way. Throw choke, fix your back foot, Susan, it has to be 45, and right foot flat, yes. Once you touch the forehead, the posture starts, then a little bit you adjust it to get your left hip up more, both hips parallel to the ceiling, much better less. Now your hips are really parallel to the ceiling. Stay there, very uncomfortable posture, but it's tremendous medical benefit. Now slowly inhale, breathing to come up, arms and knees together to come up, all the way up. And now turn 90 degree, look at yourself in the mirror, arms down, feet together, and you're done with the most challenging ones. Now everybody come back to the middle of your mat to get ready for Tadasana or three pose. Keep your feet together. Follow the instruction together. Lift your right foot up. Grab your foot from inside with your right hand. Sole of your foot facing the ceiling. Be careful with your right knee. Push your right knee back. Same concept of triangle. You want to get your knees eventually in one line from the side. Standing knee lock. Distribute your weight all over your left foot equally the same. If you can balance, right hand in front of your chest. Double check your hips, shoulders are in one line. Those of you who are more flexible, you can bring your both hand up and palms together in prey position. Maybe you are praying the class finishes sooner. Stretch up. Okay, that was supposed to be a joke. Okay, hips forward, lean back. Now slowly leg down, arms down. All right, one more to go. Grab the left foot, grab the foot from inside. Be careful with your knees, especially left knee. Drop your left knee down and push your left knee back. Hips forward, upper body lean back. Nice scan, nice adjustment. Now if your shoulders or hips are in one line, you can move your hands one by one. But at any time your foot is start to slide down, then you better hold it. Hips forward, lean back. Lock the knee. That's enough. Leg down, arm down. Last posture is twist stand. If your knees hurt, you have problem with your knees, you can repeat three pose. Otherwise, go ahead, grab the right foot, put your foot in the middle of your thigh. For this posture, you try to develop focus by looking at the floor, not the mirror. Just bring your eyes on the floor and then slowly with your left hand or right hand in front of your chest, go down and touch the floor. Once you touch the floor, you can slowly sit on top of your left heel. Put your hands behind your knees, balance on your fingertips. Don't rush with the hands. First, get your spine straight, knees in one line, right foot pointed. Now you can move your left hand, then right hand, stretch up. Imagine somebody's pulling your body up. Now slowly put your hands back in front of you. Take your time, Susan. I give you time. Go ahead, try. Yes. Excellent. Wonderful. Come up. Arms down, feet together. Left side. Grab the left foot. Put your foot in the middle of your thigh or maybe higher or lower. It's okay. With one or two hands, bring your upper body down. Shift forward when you go down. When you touch the floor, you know what to do. You sit on top of your right heel. Your motion should be slow so you don't hurt yourself. Hands to your side, balance on your fingertips. The spine must be straight. If you can balance, Without moving your eyes, left hand, right hand. Shoulders down, elbows in more. Stretch out, yes, there's nice compact. Stretch up, you got it. Now put your hands back in front of you, like a push-up in a gym, press to come up. Arms down, 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 down. You finish the standing series, good job. Go ahead, get ready for your two minutes of asana. Completely. Enjoy this two minutes, it's very precious and very therapeutic.
there are two things you want to work on it during Savasana. One is a physical stillness and also for more advanced practitioner, they have to start to work on mental stillness. In other words, you are trying to quiet your mind as well using your breath and I remain quiet. So the next two minutes you enjoy, you get the benefit of the standing series. So there is an old joke, it says, the real yoga classes start on the floor, right? So the, in other words, the whole standing series was a warm up, is an aerobic part of the class, so you can get ready for a posture on the floor. Each posture on the floor targets particular system of your body. The first one, wind removing goes, is very good for digestive system, digestion, all right? Everybody get your right knee up, interlock all your 10 fingers, grab two inches below the right knee, and then put your knee to the right and down, avoiding your rib cage. If your left calf muscle is not on the floor, flex the left foot. Pull harder. Pull as hard as you can. Elbows in, shoulders relaxed on the floor. Stay there, freeze your body just like a statue. Just hold the pressure on the right side. That's enough. Leg down, arms down. Now bring your left leg up. Go ahead. Same position on the left side this time. Nice tight grip, flush your grip. Your fingers on the foot, on your knee, excuse me, pull your knee down. Double check you are not rolling your upper body. You have to pull even a little bit, maybe more with the right side to keep your shoulders square on the floor. Hold it there and now release it, leg down. You, you do both legs. Bend your knees, feet side by side, cross your arms over your legs, if possible, a couple of inches below the knees. Hand palms on your elbow tip, chin down. Get your spine as tall as you can by looking down, and eventually when you practice long enough, your entire spine from coccyx to the neck become flat on the floor. Now slowly legs down, arms down. Try to maintain stillness for 20 seconds. Any extra movement here disturbs the medical benefit you can get. Completely relax. In between posture, breathe in and out through the nose. Mind quiet. And now you try second set. Bend your right knee up. One more time. Nice and tight grip. Two inches below the knee. It's not the knee, it's below the knee. Pull your knee to the right and down. Pull until you feel in your right hip. Eyes open, elbows in. Shoulders relax. Very good for massaging the ascending colon on this side. Elimination of gas. Hold it there. Now slowly leg down, arms down. Now you try the other side, left leg up, bend your knee up, nice and tight grip, pull your knee to the left and down all the way, all the way until you feel in your left hip, pull harder, all the way, pull harder, that's enough, leg down, now both legs, bend your knees, bring your feet side by side, relax, cross your arms over the leg, nice and tight grip. Now you are making yourself compact, massaging the transverse colon, chin down, eyes open, breathe, tight, tight, tight. Stay there, don't move. Now slowly legs down, arms down, and relax.
this sequence is very therapeutic your body start to get all the benefit and after you leave the class for the next 24 hours your body is going to be at the functioning at the optimum condition now you're going to bring your focus to your spinal cord for the next four postures but first you do a sit up to energize yourself so bring your feet together toes toward your head we call it flex your feet arms over your head palm cross hand palms like an open book toward the ceiling Suck your stomach in, now strong sit up. Go ahead, grab your big toes with middle and index finger, touch your forehead to the knees, double exhale. Turn around everybody, get ready for Bhujangasana or Cobra. Chin on the towel, hands under your shoulders, five fingers together in line with the top of your shoulders. Bring your feet together, toes and heels touching. Elbows touching your body, start to finish. Distribute your weight all over your hands equally the same. Buttocks tight, zip up your leg. Inhale, breathe in, look up, and slowly lift your upper body up using your back strength only. Come up, come up until your belly button is only on the floor, the rest of your body in the air. Shoulders down, elbows down, chest up more, look up more, go up more. Now slowly come down. Savasana on your belly, looking to the right, but with your left ear on the floor. Completely relax. This position forces your lungs to function. You are using your lungs in the back of your body instead of your belly. You're breathing through the lungs. Your belly is now isolated from functioning. So you have to, your body has no choice except to do, use the lungs more, which is very therapeutic, very good. Improving your respiratory system. It's also good for your neck right now. And here is your second one. Chin up, get your hands in the right place. Not too forward, not too back. Make sure your five fingers are together. No cupping your hands. Hands should be flat. Feet together, zip up your leg, pointed toes, buttocks tight, glutes tight. Inhale, breathing. Now slowly lift your upper body up. Chest forward and up. Elbows down, shoulder down. Trapezius muscle visible in the mirror. Head up more. Chin up more. Look up more. Go up more. Now slowly come down. With control, look to the left, right here on the floor, arms by your side, Savasana. Completely relax, just breathe. Use this time to calm down your nervous system, your respiratory system. Your circulation is coming to normal during Savasana. And then you work hard again for the next posture. Next one is called locust pose. Please, everybody, get your arms under your body and chin up, looking at the mirror. Palm facing the floor. Open your 10 fingers, grab the floor. Put more weight on your arms. Arms are hurting a little bit. It's okay. Now relax your left foot, right foot pointed. Lock the right knee. Now slowly lift your right leg up. Together, lift your right leg up, pointed. 45 degree, half of 90. Leg up, leg up, come up, more up, hold it. Now slowly leg down. Without resting, left foot pointed, lock it. Now lift your left leg up. Everybody come up, 45 degree, half of 90. Pointed toes, lock the knee. Come up higher, look in the mirror, your foot in the top of your head. Come up, more up, now slowly leg down. Now this time, both legs. Put your nose and mouth first on the floor. Readjust your arms, bring your forearms closer. Squeeze your butt, feet, legs together, one leg, cobra tail. Now lift both legs up. Come up, everybody. 10 seconds. Lift it. Come up. Use your extra strength not to give up. Legs up. Point it. Lock it. Come up. More up. Legs up. Now slowly legs down with control without collapsing. Get your arms out. Look to the right. Sandy, yep. Relax. Completely relax. So same amount of consideration and attention we give to our physical hygiene the mind also the hygiene mind hygiene is important and when you meditate when you practice yoga you're practicing the health of your mind and when you have a healthy mind it prevents from anxiety stress fear your mind become very strong so you become in charge of your mind your mind could be very productive and could be also very, you know, destructive. So when you have, when you take care of your mind, when you practice yoga, your mind become your slave, you become in charge of your mind. 
So you become kind of like bulletproof. Things cannot break you down. So it's a very important concept of mental hygiene versus physical hygiene. And they are kind of together, work together. If you have a very strong mind, you can use your mind to make your body strong and vice versa, right? Okay, everybody. Let's try. Next one is called second set of locusts. <laughs> I know, right? It's called second set of locusts. Go ahead. Get your arms under your body. Everybody open your ten fingers. Elbows locked. Chin is up. Get ready. Together, lift your right leg up. Come up, everybody. So good for your upper body and your elbows. Legs up. One leg up. Come up. Leg up. More up. Now slowly leg down. The other side. Left foot pointed. Lock the knee. Now lift your left leg up. Come up. Come up. I have no idea how can you laugh in that position. Can I? Leg up. Leg up. Go up. Now slowly leg down. Now it is time to work harder. Put your nose and mouth on the floor. Readjust your arm. Squeeze your buttocks. Feet, legs together. Cobra tail. One leg. Now everybody lift your legs up. Go up. Come up everybody. Yes, Liz. Press your upper body against the floor. Shoulders down. Legs up. More up. Go up. Now slowly legs down, 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 down. Now your arms, elbows, wrists are so happy. Your shoulders are so happy. Look to the left. Completely relax. God knows how many times I get shoulder pain from working with, you know, electronics, devices, and then you come to the yoga room, you do this posture, you're a little bit discomfort, suffering, but then all those pain turn into a natural medicine, right? Next posture, full locus, Purna Salavasana. Chin up, bring your arms to your side, perpendicular to your body, in line with your shoulders, five fingers together. You have to make your body tight so it becomes light, fit together. Everybody glutes tight behind you, one leg. Now inhale, breathe in, everything off the floor, come up. 747 taking up, only your hip bones on the floor. Arms up, chest up, legs up, look up, head up, eyes up. Exhale, more up. Now slowly come down. Look to the right. Left ear on the floor. Arms by your side. Completely relax. This posture is designed to make the middle part of the spine more flexible. It's very hard to make that area flexible. So make sure that you do this posture. You don't skip it as much as you can to keep that area more flexible. Those muscles, those joints, ligaments, they start to become loosened up. Okay, try again. Chin up, arms to your side. Everybody, five fingers always together. Feet, legs together. Zip up your leg. Get your glutes tight. Arms more stretching. Inhale, breathing. Now lift everything up. Come up, everybody. Second set, a little bit go higher. Maybe one inch more. Lift up. Go up. Chest up. Arms up. Look up, chin up, eyes up, go up, more up, exhale, more up. Now slowly come down, down. Look to the left, right here on the floor, and relax. So through your practice, some of your posture get better, sometimes some of your posture get worse. You start to like some of the posture, you may not like some of the posture you do, but eventually, after 10 years, you hopefully you like them all, maybe after two years you hate them all, and then again you like them all, you know, so it's a cycle, right? You go through different phases of loving and hating some of this posture, but you keep doing it, you don't stop right? Because you know the goal, the end point of it is all good for you. Even though in this process you go through bumps and up and downs, but you continue practicing, practicing. Patabi Joyce, he always says, yoga is 99% practice, 1% theory. All right? And that's what exactly what you do in this class. A lot of work, working hard. Okay, everyone. Next posture. Get ready for floor bow. Chin up. Bend your both knees. Grab your feet from outside. 
between your feet, two inches below the toes, five fingers together. Your body should look like two wheels in one base. Keep that gap between your knees and toes, arms six inches. Now very slowly, inhale, breathing, kick into your legs. Kick back and up and look up. Immediate start to roll forward on your belly more and knees in more. Pointed toes out, head up. You don't look at the mirror, you look up, head up, kick up, more up, go up. Now slowly come down. Look to the right, left here on the floor, relax. So it's very tempting to open the knees, but make sure you keep forcing your knees to stay six inches apart so your spine can bend more. I remember my teacher used to say 99% correct is 100% wrong. Sounds unfair, right? 99% correct is 100% wrong. In other words, you have to do practice with precision. Even if you do a few percent of the posture, you do it 100% correct, you get 100% benefit of the posture. All right, everyone, try again. Chin up, go ahead, grab the middle of your foot from outside, five fingers together. Keep that gap, hip width distance between your knees, arms, two wheels in one base concept. Now without losing your grip, now everybody start please, kick. Kick and look up, kick up, look up. Pointed toes, knees in, much better. Now you're everybody six inches, kick up, kick more. Look up, don't come down, keep going up, 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 kick up. Now slowly come down, much better, much better. Night and day difference, second set. That's enough, come up everybody, get ready for fixed firm pose. Come to the top of your mat, sit down in long position, and then only open your feet wide enough so your hips go between your heels, hips on the floor. If your knees hurt, you can open knees wider, but make sure your hips between your heels, hips on the floor. When you are ready, put your hands on your feet, Thumbs, out, thumbs inside, finger outside. First bend your right elbow, then left elbow. Touch your head, touch the back of your head, shoulders down, your whole upper body on the floor. Then only you bring your arms over your head, grab the opposite elbows, pull your elbows down, lift your chest up, creating a so-called perfect human bridge under your body. Your knees should always remain on the floor. If you become more flexible, eventually you can bring your knees to touch each other side by side, but they should be always on the floor. Eyes open, stretching the front side of your body. Breathe, chin down, stay there. Very good for your knees, for your front side is stretching. And now slowly come up, put your hands on your feet with the help of your elbows. Same way you went in, you come up. Turn around, relax. Some of this posture, you have to be very patient with it. It takes years and years to master it. And then even when you master it, you might get an injury or something happen and then you might not be able to do the full expression of the posture, which is frustrating at the beginning, but then you develop an attitude that it's not about the posture, it's all about the, t the way you think about this class, right? That's why they said, this is the only subject in the world that the subject is not the object. The object is you, not the poses. It's how you approach the pose, what's in your head. Try again, flex your feet, arms over your head, strong sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Try again, sit down in long position, sit on top of your mat, Knees together, then open your feet, hips on the floor, hips between your heels, hands on your feet, thumbs inside, right elbow, left elbow, go ahead, touch your head, back of your head, shoulders down, upper body on the floor, only then arms over your head, grab the opposite elbows, 
Sometimes it helps me to walk my hands down toward my armpit to have a better grip on my elbow. And then breathe and stay there, stillness. A big portion of your practice is about the stillness. If you can get your chin down more, Sandy, yes, you got it, your intuition was right. Stay there, breathe. Now slowly put your hands on your feet. With the help of your elbows, come up one by one. Spin around, efficiently get on your Savasana. You don't want to waste too much time. Now the high pressure blood with oxygen is rushing to the knees and ankle joints. It's very good healing Savasana right now. I was very good at this posture for many years and recently from nowhere suddenly I started feeling pain in the back of my left knee. So in the last couple of months I had such a hard time in the class to do fixed firm. In the beginning I was very angry at myself. I was like, what happened? Where did that come from? And then after a while I realized, you know, because it came from nowhere, hopefully it goes away and same thing happened. I had faith in this class, this practice and Keep doing it mindfully, not pushing, just keep, you know, practicing. And then same thing happened. Just it started to dissipate and left my body. All right, everyone. Flex your feet. Arms over your head. Strong. Sit up. Double check, double exit. Bang, bang. Forehead to the knee. Turn around. Sit down in long position. Next posture is designed to activate your brain cell, Ardha Kumasana. Hips on your heels start to finish. Inhale, arms over your head, palms together, thumb cross. Elbows locked with your ears, chin stays up. Now very slowly come forward, like a jackknife, come down. And if you can't touch your forehead first, then baby fingers touching, elbows lock in the air. Continue to stretch your body forward and push your hips down in opposite direction. So you feel traction in your spine, creating more gap between your vertebra and your spinal cord. Eyes remain open, breathing is normal. Right now your heart is above your head, so the high pressure blood is easier coming to the brain, activating and rejuvenating the brain cells. Stay there, just a few more seconds, just concentrate. Breathe through the nose. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and ears together, come up. Arms down, turn around, relax. Really relax. This posture is well known to reduce anxiety and stress, which can develop easily in the body. And then if you don't reduce those stress and anxiety, they turn into fear, and then fear turns into panic. So the whole entire body gets attacked by an internal you know, anxiety. So you wanna make sure that you reduce that stress from daily life so this posture is very effective posture. So make sure you really make the best and take advantage of each of these postures, especially this one. If you have a lack of sleep, depression, these are all, this posture is a good antidote for that. Flex your feet, arms over your head, strong, sit up. Double jerk, double exhale. All right, everyone, turn around, sit down in long position. Hips on your heels again, as I said, in the future, never hips separate from your heels. Arms over your head, palms together, ribs open, belly tight. Now come forward, touch your forehead, all the way, elbows lock. Nice, Susan, nice going down, stretch your upper body forward, push your hips down. Now you are relaxed in your mind, but your body is activated. It's, a stre it's really stretching forward. So your body is not resting, it's your mind resting. Breathing is normal the whole time. When you make that connection between the forehead and the floor, then you are activating the chakra in your forehead. If you believe in yoga system, there are seven chakras in the body, one is in the forehead. You are pressing it, you're massaging it. Now slowly inhale to come up all the way. Arms down, turn around, relax.
I remember for many years, every time I was teaching this posture, I was like, this posture is so good for stress. And no wonder nobody wanted to do it, right? Until I listened to my own voice. You remember, Liz, you made us to record our own voice. And I was like, no, this posture is not good for stress. It's good for getting rid of stress, you know? <laughs> yes, guys, this is so good for anxiety. Do it. Right? No wonder people stop coming to class. You know what I'm talking about, right? Things we say sometimes, it freak out people. Yeah. All right, all right. Flex your feet. Arms over your head. Strong. Sit up. Zoom. Bum, bum. Forehead and then. All right, everybody. Get ready for camel pose. Speaking of chakras, you're opening the front side of your body. It's good for you. Everybody open your knees and feet six inches apart. Put your hands on your hips. Thumb outside, finger inside. Push your hips forward first, chest up. Now drop your head back. Go back, look back, go back. When you cannot go down anymore, stop. Bring your hands down. First right hand, grab the right heel. Left hand, grab the left heel. Again, thumb outside, finger inside. Inhale, exhale, eyes open. Push your stomach, legs, hips forward, chest up. Keep pushing 360 degree. With the help of gravity, push more, push more. Everybody push more. Now slowly put your hands on your hips. Slowly come up. Sit down. And then when you're ready, turn around, relax. Second one, flex your feet, arms over your head. Another sit up, double jerk, double leg so. Turn around, stand up on your knees. You can open your knees wider, but keep your feet still six inches apart. Hip width distance, put your hands on your hips. Now everybody together, not before or after. Push your hips forward, drop your head back only, go back. Now bring your upper body back now, stop. Now hands down, one by one, grab your heel, thumb outside. Finger inside. Ready? Inhale, eyes open. With your exhale, push. Stomach, hips, legs forward. Push everything forward. Chest up more. No collapsing on your hands. Chest up. Push more. Breathe through the nose, a little bit of air. Push more. Now put your hands back on your hips. Slowly come up without twisting your spine. When you come up, the spine is straight. Sit down and relax. Done. Camel and rabbits are like brother and sister. You do camel, and now you're gonna do a deep front side compression, rabbit pose. Flex your feet, arms over your head, strong sit up, double jig, double leg so. Sasangasana, turn around, rabbit. Sit down in long position. If you have a bun, you can pull it down so the crown of your hair is free. Use the towel for a dry grip. Wrap around your feet, grab your heel, Come outside, finger inside. Same grip as camel. Please don't lose your grip. Lean back. Exhale. Look at your stomach. Roll like a wheel. Forward. Touch your forehead to the floor. Lift your hips up. Eyes remain open. If there is a gap between your forehead and your knees with your arms straight, you just walk your knees forward. Now you have to start to pull harder. Feel it in your belly. You may feel a cramp. Hips up more. Roll like a wheel. Less weight on your neck. More weight on your arms. Pull harder. Now slowly inhale, breathing to come up. Spin around and relax. Mm -hmm. 
So again, it's another compression in front side and extension in the back. So you are getting the medical benefit of you know, stimulating the thyroid gland, massaging the pancreas in front, and also stretching your spine a few inches in the back. It's very hard to stretch the lower part of the spine. It's easier to stretch the upper part. So if you do camel right, after years of practice, you learn how to stretch the lower part, the spinal part, cord, the lower part of your spinal cord, the lumbar spine. All right, everyone, flex your feet. Get ready for another sit-up. Arms over your head, strong sit-up. Double jerk, double leg, so. All right, turn around, sit down in long position. Please use the towel, unless you are super, super experienced practitioner, then sometimes you can do it without towel, but for now, use the towel, palm outside, lean back, stomach in, exhale, you go down. Like a sushi roll in, once the top of your head on the floor, hips up, arms are straight. If there is a space, you have to eliminate this space by walking your knees forward. But you have to remember, you have very little weight on your neck and your head. So more of your weight on your arms. From the side, eventually your hips above your knees 90 degree. Stomach is stomach. Suck it in, pull harder. Think about your lower spine. How you can stretch that area. Use your hands more. Now slowly inhale to come up. All right, all right, turn around, relax. Sit up, flex your feet, arms over your head, strong one. Sit up, double jerk, double leg stop. Turn around, face the mirror, bend your left leg, touch the left foot to the right inner thigh. Both legs should look like an upside down L, right, the letter L. Flex the right foot when you're ready, arms over your head. Cross your 10 fingers, turn to the right, grab three inches below the right toes. Again, you can bend the knee, no problem, but you have to touch the forehead to the knee. Elbows down, left shoulder down, left knee on the floor, roll into the left, flex the foot more. If you are more seasoned practitioner, more flexible, try to pull so hard so your right heel come off the floor. Hold it there, freeze it there, and slowly come up. Keep your arms up, belly in strong, core strong, left leg out, switch your leg, the other side, turn to the left. Continuously flex the left foot. Touch the forehead to the knee. Compression on the front side, massaging the pancreas. If you bring your right shoulder down, then you can stretch and massage both sides of your pancreas. Elbows in more, pull harder, freeze it there like a statue, you just breathe and hold it. And slowly come up. You don't turn, you lie down your back, feet toward the mirror, a strong sit up, strong one. All your sit ups were preparation for this one. So grab your big toes. With your middle and index finger, walk your hips back, right hand left, right hand left. Push your hips down, back of your knees, eventually flat on the floor. Only then, if your legs are straight, your back of your knees touch the floor, only then you can bring your elbows down and forward. You can open your elbows to the mirror, bring your chest down, stomach on your thighs, chest on the knees, and eventually when you become more flexible, forehead touching the toes. Keep pushing your knees down, eyes open, keep breathing, Stretch your body forward, chest more forward. Now slowly come up. Savasana. sort of beautiful physical activity in the world but what makes yoga very unique is the fact that yoga is an exercise too but exercise is not yoga so you are getting the both benefit of mental and physical health in this class when you finish the class you your perspective your approach to problem challenges change 
your problem and challenges are still out there. They haven't changed, but you change. That's the power of yoga. We call it transformation. And it happens very gradually. It's like planting a seed. It takes time. It, you cannot force it. You have to give it time. It's not like you plant a seed and you're like next to Come on, come on, give me some fruit, right? Flex your feet. Arms over your head. Strong sit up. Double jerk, double exhale. Try again. Second set, always you can do better because you are already programmed. You know what to do. Everybody both legs like an L. Arms over your head. Flex the right foot. Go down. Go ahead. Touch the forehead to the knee. Once you touch it, your elbows come down. Your left knee is always on the floor. It's slightly left shoulder down. Flex the foot beyond 90 degree. Hold it there. Just breathe. Look at your stomach. See if you can create a cramp in your belly by sucking your belly more even. Yes, Danny. Nice. Now slowly come up. Arms remain up. Switch your legs. Left leg out. Right foot in. Go ahead. Left side. Touch the forehead to the knee. The rounding your spine create more space. And if you want, you can even get your forehead maybe half an inch higher on the knee closer to your stomach. Elbows in. Your elbow tips eventually touch the floor. Stay there. Now come up. Lie down your back. Here is your last stretch for today. Sit up. Double jerk, double exhale. Grab only your big toes with two middle and index finger. Walk your hips back. Walk, walk, walk. Get your shimmy, shimmy. Get your legs straight. Chest up. You want to keep the back of your spine as straight as possible. Once you are able to get your heels off the floor, back of your knees on the floor, then you bring your upper body down. Now, without rounding your spine, you want to touch your stomach on your thighs, forehead on the knees. Forehead, excuse me, on your toes, not the knees. Forehead and toes. Pull. Stretch your chest forward. Stay there. Your abdominal muscle, everything is engaged. Your biceps bulging. Now slowly come up and relax. Go ahead. Your savasana. You finished. All these stretching poses, compression poses. And the best thing is left, which is twisting your spine, unleashing huge amount of kundalini energy in your spinal cord, right? Flex your feet, arms over your head. Go ahead, sit up. Double jerk, double leg stuff. Turn around, facing the street side. Bend your left knee in front of you, knee facing the glass window, right foot over the left knee corner, left foot flat. Double check you are not sitting on your left heel, both hips on the floor. Put your right hand close to the base of your spine behind you, like you have a double spine. With the help of your left elbow, push against the top knee, grab the front knee. Three things in front, hand, heel, knee should be touching in the same spot. Again, double check your left foot is pointed, chest up, exhale, look over your right shoulder, and now start to twist. If you are more flexible, you don't need your right hand, go ahead, use your right hand as an anchor to grab your inner thigh and twist your spine with both arms. Twist more. Look way, way over your right shoulder, lower, middle, upper. The total spine should be twisting, like a spine, twisting like a pearls on a necklace. Change. The other side, bend your right knee, knee facing the window, left foot over the right knee corner, right foot flat, both hips on the floor. Put your left hand behind you with the help of your right elbow, push against the top knee, grab the front knee. I repeat three things, hand, heel, knee touching in the same spot in front, exhale, chest up, then only look over your left shoulder, go ahead, twist way, way over your left shoulder. Now you have to try to look at the podium here, this direction, so you can twist your spine more, and more, and more, and more. Use your lower body, twist more, twist more, change, all right? Lie down your back, and that's enough. It's a very brilliant sequence. You start the class with breathing, you do 26 fascia, you finish with breathing, but this is a different type of breathing good for your digestive system and improving the abdomen muscles. 
So get ready for a final posture or final breathing, excuse me, flex your feet, arms over your head, first sit up, strong sit up, double jerk, double exhale. All right, everyone, face the mirror, sit kneel down position, hands on your knees, relax your belly, like a Buddha belly, so your belly is relaxed, you pump your belly in and out, focus more on your exhale, everybody chest up. Ready? First set is 60 times, very slow, one per second. Go. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. 10 more is strong. Give it to me. Stronger one. Sharp. Strong. Three, two, one. Good. Second set twice faster. Half a time. Ready? And go. Sharper. Stronger. Deeper. Excellent. Close your practice. Wonderful. A lot of fresh air is coming to the room. This is very healing right now. If you are fighting with physical injuries, anxiety, stress, anything which doesn't serve your life and your body by staying in Savasana, you can start to reduce them. For the first time, you can even close your eyes, take a couple of deep inhale, exhale. Let your body sink to the floor. Your body right now is exhausted, so your mind can quiet, become quiet, and you can meditate even. You are reaching to the point that you can easier meditate. Thank you for working very hard. That was a very wonderful, good team, A+. Plus. After two minutes, if you like to stay longer, I recommend it. Otherwise, after two minutes, you can tiptoe out, leave the room. Be grateful for your life, for everything you have, and I see you soon. Thank you, guys. Namaste.